All right, I'm entering my lawn tractor into the car show. It's uh, I think it's a 1978 uh, Jacobson 53332. Uh, it was sitting for like 15 years out in the woods. Somebody I knew, and uh, didn't want it anymore. So I figured, why not put a four cylinder in it? It's a Suzuki J20A out of a Chevy 2003 Chevy Tracker. Um, it makes made about 130 horse NA. Got a T3 turbo on it uh should make like 200 horsepower now to the wheels run about 10 pounds of boost uh i got an aem wideband on it which is supposed to be for my ls swap project but it made it under the lawnmower you know, one of them chinese tacks uh boost gauge um it's a four speed automatic still so it has the transmission out of the tracker as well as the rear end that I shortened, so it's rear drum brake on that guy. Um, yeah, it's got trailer hubs in the front for a front end. I had to modify the frame a bit to get this to fit. Made new mounts for the front and all that. New steering setup and everything. New spindles, don't mind the bent over nail in it right now. Yeah, got it, just got it running good. I made a fuel controller for it to control uh, a couple extra injectors that are in the charge pipe because uh, I no way to really tune the stock computer here. Yeah, seems to be working all right so far. I just got the coupler zip tied cobbled on there for now, so hopefully they don't blow apart. Like I said, project's not finished yet. Uh, radiator's uh, Honda Civic radiator fits real nice in there. I'm into the entire mower. Uh, definitely, well, it'd be about under $400, I suppose. So I had the tracker that was the donor for the drivetrain laying around. The mower was free. Um, so this was a four-wheel drive. You can see the drive shaft there. So essentially, that's the well, that's part of the transfer case. You can see the end the uh, you see the input pinion there, so I welded the output shaft of the transfer case to the input pinion, and it the bore on the inside of the input pinion happened to be an interference fit for the output shaft, so that didn't cost any money, and then I already had a bearing in it, which I had to change to a sealed bearing. Uh, welded the drive shaft up, did that, shortened the axle, and uh, yeah, we reused pretty much everything. Um, from this. The only thing I had to buy was a fuel pump, radiator, and fan um, prior to turboing it anyway. And I just used the harness and all that and had to make a few changes to it. But, I don't know, old fuse box out of an ambulance we took apart, relays, all that's factory. Yeah, battery was the most expensive single part for this, pretty much. Uh, the turbo was given to me, uh, it was off a car that got scrapped, uh, yeah, the piping came out of the scrap pile, uh, so I just bought the couplers, I built the fuel controller, the injectors came off a blown up Prius engine, same with the fuel rail, it's all, uh, reused the old trailer, old trailer hubs we had on an axle laying around that was on the back of our half Buick, yeah, pretty much reused everything I could. Stock steering box from the tractor still works. Yeah, she runs pretty good.